If you're anything like me, you enjoy a nice cup of coffee in the morning, you enjoy the energy and the taste, but you want to avoid the negative side effects that a lot of coffee come with. The problem with a lot of coffees is that they're just optimized for taste, but not for health. And that's why a lot of coffees have negative side effects and I recently realized I really enjoy the local roasteries coffee here, but they gave me this jittery feeling, this busy feeling in my body. So I went back to biohacking coffee. Biohacking coffee claims to solve that problem. The most famous biohacking coffee is Bulletproof Coffee by biohacker Dave Asprey. And he came up with the idea to optimize coffee for health to be low in mold, low in mycotoxins and just generally try to give you the coffee, the effect, but to have less side effects. Today there are multiple biohacking coffee brands on the market and I'm going to compare four of the most popular brands, 10 different coffees from those brands. The original Bulletproof Coffee, it's a medium roast. The Purity Regular Roast, it's a coffee that I already reviewed two years ago. Uh, Purity is really focused on lab testing and publishing their lab results. Then we have the Kion Regular Roast. Uh, Kion is a brand by biohacker Ben Greenfield. I really love his book, Boundless. Um, so I got one of his coffees as well. We have Nordcoat. It's a brand from Europe, from the Netherlands. And they're pretty fresh on the market. So I decided to try out their medium roast. I also have their light roast. Uh, I also have the decaf of Kion and the light roast and the decaf of Bulletproof. Personally, I will be mostly using these coffees to make biohacking coffees as a blend with broader coconut oil and collagen. The idea is of adding fats and protein is to make the coffee even better processable for your body. The energy lasts longer and it just tastes amazing. For this video, I'm going to use a professional home cupping method. The idea with coffee cupping is just to have a standardized brewing method where there's a really no variation in the brewing process and to test and compare the taste um, simultaneously of all coffees. But I'm also going to do real world brews over the next days with all of these coffees as black coffee and then as biohacking coffee blend. For the real world brews, I'm going to use my Hario V60 filter and my French press. For the cupping, I'm gonna be brewing 12 grams of coffee beans with 200 milliliters of filtered water. To avoid being biased, I'm going to label the coffees. So I don't really know when I'm filling out the form, which coffee is which one. Let's get started by grinding the coffee beans. Before each grind, I'm gonna neutralize the machine by adding some coffee beans. So there's no leftovers from the last grind in there. Now the coffees are ready to be brewed. In the meantime, the coffee cooled down for 10 minutes and I cleaned up a little bit of the mess here. Let's start with coffee number one. Mm. Four weeks and a lot of coffees and real world brews later. Here's a quick summary of each of the individual coffees. 
If you want to get an overview and a comparison in a table, check out the link to my blog article down below with all the cupping scores and details. Let's start with the Kion Clean Coffee. It's a medium roast. I really enjoy the classic taste, almonds, nuts, cacao. I would give it a 9 out of 10 for a biohacking coffee. It has a nice, fresh, crisp acidity, citrus-like, and it's a great coffee. I love it. The Bulletproof Original Medium Roast is also quite a great coffee. It's very comparable. I also give it a 9 out of 10 for a biohacking blend. Um, the acidity is more berry-like compared to the Kion, but yeah, both are great coffees. The Purity Regular or Purity Medium Roast, I loved it in the cupping testing. It has a nice, more modern taste, more modern flavor, more blueberry-like. Um, definitely different than the Bulletproof and Kion, but I really enjoy this taste. This is especially great as a black coffee, but it also is good for a biohacking blend, although the blueberry flavor is not that strong in a biohacking blend. What's also great about Purity is that they publish all their lab results. I think it's the only brand that does it. The Purity Dark Roast, I don't like it really as a black coffee, but I love it as a biohacking blend. It's a dark roast, so it comes through pretty strong in a biohacking blend with butter and coconut oil. And I feel you really get that classic Italian cappuccino taste with it in a biohacking coffee. Um, so for this, if you love a strong biohacking coffee, this is a great choice. The Nord Coat Medium Roast. Professional cuppers gave this apparently an 88.5 cupping score. For me, it didn't did that well in the cupping because it just has a really strong peanut taste, which I don't like that much. It's a good coffee and I think especially if you're from Europe, you should try out this because it's roasted here and um, it's also a good coffee and definitely has a clean effect. So the light roasts are too light to be used in a biohacking blend. In my opinion, um, the coffee taste just does not come through. And I really enjoyed the breakfast blend of Bulletproof though. As a Hario V60, um, that's a really nice, fresh and crisp taste in the morning. Let's talk decaf. They don't have an easy time. All of the decaf, doesn't matter which brand, Kion, Bulletproof, Purity, none of them tastes as good as the regular roast because they are decaf, but they are a nice alternative for the afternoon if you want to have a second cup. And they definitely taste good and I would say better than most other decaf coffees out there. In general, all of the biohacking clean coffees are really clean. Uh, I didn't have any negative side effects with any of them. So it's definitely a palpable difference between these biohacking brands and just the regular uh, roastery coffee that you might drink otherwise. If you want to get into the details, see the cupping scores, the acidity, sweetness, body and so on, check out the blog article link down below. If you want to buy any of these coffees, check out the links in the description. You may also find some coupon codes for a discount and also if you're from Europe, you will find shops where you can buy these coffees in Europe. If you want to see more reviews on biohacking products, check out my playlist here on YouTube. And I'm sending you much love from Switzerland.